guys, I am so happy. I've been screaming on top of my lungs. I know damn well my housemates are tired of me. They sick of me, but I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> guys, Mimi and Josh, they won. They won. Mimi and Josh, I did won. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not going to lie, a part of me was thinking Nicole and Kieran. Because in my thoughts, because in my head, I'm just like, no, Mimi, I want Mimi and Josh to win so much. But in my head, I'm just like, girl, you know there's a good possibility. And I honestly felt like it was going to be um, Mimi second, Nicole and um, Kieran first, um, Ayo and Jessica third, and Sean and Matilda fourth. But when I saw Ayo and Jessica came out at fourth, I'm just like, oh my God. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, if Matilda, if Matilda and Sean come in second and Mimi come third, I'm not watching Love Island again, ever. That's what I said to myself. But then when I saw them come out, I'm like, oh, you better know. But guys, oh! <laughs> I'm so gassed. I'm so happy. So a massive congratulations to Mimi and Josh, a.k.a. Jovi. Guys, I'm sorry. For the whole of this video, I feel like I'm just screaming. But I'm so happy. I am so happy. Plus, it's the first time in history a black couple has won Love Island. <laughs> what? What? Start to my eyes. Start to my eyes. Do you know what I'm saying? But guys, let me stop screaming. Let me stop screaming, guys. Let me stop screaming and talk to the people. Um, guys, we are happy. We're not happy. I'm not talk truth. I'm not happy. Comment down below. Come on, I'm not must happy. I'm not on a must happy. Do you know what I mean? Comment down below, guys. Let me know how you feel. Show your excitement in the comment section because our girl has won. Our sexy ass boy has won. Listen, Josh in that suit, you know? When I saw Josh in that suit, I was like, nah, yummy, yum, yum. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mimi was looking like a goddess tonight. I mean, Nick. I mean, Mimi's always looking like a painting, but she looked like a proper goddess tonight. This girl was beautiful. Her skin was glowing. She was just looking scrumptious. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I am so happy, guys. The, listen, the declaration speech, they got me a bit emotional. I'm not going to lie. They got me emotional. And obviously, we hear Ayo saying it, officially saying that he loves Jess. To be honest, I was expecting it because at the end of the day, I feel like he came close to saying it and she finished his sentence the last time. So I feel like, you know, naturally he was going to say it. Um, and then um, we hear Sean saying in his speech to Matilda that I love you, Matilda. Now, we know that he said it before in bed and she did not respond, right? But obviously she said, I love you too. But I feel like Matilda only said it because, you know, everybody's there and everybody's like, you know, everyone can hear it. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like weird for her not to actually say it back. So I feel like she said it back. I don't think that girl means it. I don't think that girl mean it. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think Matilda, I do not think Matilda likes uh, Sean like that. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody says. I wish them all the best, but I don't. I'm not buying it. I'm still not buying it. Now, Karen and Nicole's speech made me tear up. Like, I knew them two was going to make me tear up, but they made me tear up. And then hearing Mimi talk about how, you know, Josh is and how Josh makes her feel. And then when Josh brought out that poem, I say, ah! You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I am loving Mimi and Josh. I'm not going to lie. All the guys look stunning. The boys look stunning. You know, in their suits, the girls look so good as well all dressed up guys i've realized they've changed the way they do the declaration ceremony normally they have everybody seated down and then you know the couple that's doing it they'll go up and then they'll like talk and whatever they kind of did it around the table and i felt like mm, they didn't have much space they just kind of look cramped around the table i mean there's a pro and there's a, a con to that pro in the way where i feel like at least they're not like standing kind of like up on that little bit and everybody's staring at them and then the nerves and all that kind of stuff but con where i feel like it was just no space and do you know what i mean the, the table was there do you know what i'm saying but anyways but it doesn't matter because maybe one and that's all i care about care about care about it's all i care about care about care about but anyways <laughs> and guys that's it it's over the season has ended 
you know the finale and our girl won you know what what i will say guys because sean i feel like sean let himself down when he followed um joey's footsteps i feel like he allowed himself to get wrapped up in joey and joey being joey essex because you hear him telling ayo like you know you and um, jessica have something special and i'm just like oh so now you've realized this so i'm saying i'm just like now you've realized this i feel like it took not having joey in the villa for him to see sense and do you know what it is i feel like as a grown-ass man he should have been you know doing what he felt was right and not allow himself to be influenced especially when it's such a negative influence but you know at the end of the day we move you know what i'm saying we move but guys i am happy i'm not gonna lie i am over the moon happy i will say though guys it was good to see nicole's um makeup looking natural and looking nice tonight i feel like when she first came to the villa her makeup was looking nice and then somewhere along the line it just got really messed up way too many way too much bronzer on the nose cheeks etc but tonight she looked lovely her makeup looked lovely and she looked lovely in her red as well and in her man's arms you know what i'm saying the girls oh my god and guys trust the girls to break the bed on the last day they got way too excited everybody start jumping on the bed and boom people in bed but you know what i'm saying it's a lucky thing they don't need it now <laughs> it's a good thing they don't need it anymore because it's the last night but them broke people in bed should i say it but no nah, i'm happy for everybody i feel like everyone that was in the finals deserved to be in the finals apart from sean and matilda i'm not gonna lie i feel like sean was never deserving but at the end of the day you know maybe matilda you know what I mean? Because she, she, I mean, I don't know. Because I'm not really that much of a fan of Matilda, if I was to be completely honest. But I do believe that Ayo and Jessica, and I do believe that um, and Kieran and Nicole and Mimi and Josh belongs in the finals. Do you know what? I will say, you see, Ayo and Jessica, I have hopes for them. Because their sense of humour is quite good. Like, I love it. Because even when she came out in her dress, she looked lovely, by the way. And I was like, raw, are we getting married? And she's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like they have such a banter and their sense of humor just bounce off each other. You know what I'm saying? And it was also good to see Ayo being able to just, like, run a joke with Mimi. And for them to just have, like, a friendly kind of thing going on, I liked it. Because when Mimi came out, because she was the first to come out, and he went, damn, you scrub up well. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, do you know what? This is a happy ending you know they went through what really <laughs> i felt you know what this is a happy ending they went through what they went through you know they just weren't for each other at the end of the day but at least they're able to like laugh and talk and be friends you know what i'm saying and i felt like that was the perfect ending to love island uk season 11 guys like <laughs> guys i'm happy i'm happy our girl won and you know what i'm literally i'm looking forward to seeing her just you know blossoming when she gets out on the outside because at the end of the day she is stunning and i wish her and josh all the best i wish all the couples all the best to be honest with you because i feel like they've they've worked really hard to get to where they are now and you know what i mean i just wish them all the success in the world but guys this is it for us when it comes to Love Island, what else do you want me to review? I'm thinking about reviewing the Love is Blind UK that's going to be starting, I think, on the 6th of August. I don't know. But also, I see um, Olivia Atwood. She's going to do a thing called Bad Boyfriend um, on ITV2 as well. So I'm thinking maybe, and that apparently starts in August as well. I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking maybe i'll review that comment down below let me know if you guys are gonna watch love is blind i know a couple people mentioned that they would um but i don't know i've always seen love is blind usa but i think this is a uk version but yeah let me know if you guys actually want me to review it and also guys please don't be shy to check out my other videos i feel like during this time of recording love island i kind of neglected some of my other subscribers so i do apologize about that so i'm gonna go back to now doing my normal videos i feel like i've been in a place recently where especially this year where i don't know where what direction to take my channel so i feel like i've been in a pause mindset for a bit but you know i am going to sort that out guys but i just need a break for a minute because love island was stressing me out you know what i'm saying <laughs> but guys please do not leave me now please watch my other videos i'm gonna put out in the future and guys we'll see you again soon we'll see you again soon i plan to do more reviews as well i've been looking into love is blind usa i mean i kind of really want to try out the the 
the Love Island USA, but it's a time, guys. It's a time difference that kills me. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but I'm looking into different things to review. So if you have any ideas, comment down below. But guys, thank you so much for being the best sports ever. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for all the likes. Thank you for subscribing and communicating. I love you guys so much. But like I said, guys, Please do not neglect me on my other videos now, okay? And guys, like I always say, if you got to this part of the video and you haven't yet thumbs up the video, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're a newbie, hey, if you're a newbie, hey, please subscribe, guys, because our girl, maybe, is a winner. Uh, uh, a winner. Uh, uh, I'm so happy. Nobody can spoil my day. I'm telling you, nobody can say nothing to me today. Nobody can say nothing to me tomorrow. Nobody can say nothing to me for the rest of the week because Mimi is a winner, okay? Mimi is a winner. Mimi and Josh won, and I feel like they're just gonna surprise everybody because they are so sweet. They're such a sweet couple. They look so amazing and cute together. They're literally so hot. They're so hot. Look at me sweating. My fan is on, guys. If you can hear that, that's my fan because I'm hot up in here. But anyways, guys, I'm going to love you guys and I'm going to leave you. But guys, forsake me not. What? What is this? <laughs> guys, forsake me not. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love you guys. And I guess I'll see you guys in the reunion. I think that's on Sunday night, right? I'll see you guys in the reunion review. But for now, give it sassy. Let's go. They won. They won. Uh, they won. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you.